Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny and welcome to another video addition to my health and wellness playlist. In this video, we'll discuss how to naturally whiten your enamel as well as the importance of flossing. Flossing should be added to your daily brushing routine and it's important not only for your oral health but your overall health as well. I also want to reiterate that I have had no dental work done, no dental extreme white mean I think it's misleading when people say hey look at this video about how to whiten your teeth and you've had work done on your teeth I think that's very misleading this is my natural enamel shade as well as shape so we will get into that with a brushing tutorial and flossing tutorial as well that's all coming up next <gasps> it's bunny <laughs> Now there are several different at home ingredients that you can use to naturally whiten your enamel, but I use pure baking soda. It prevents cavity formation, gum disease, it attacks plaque formation, bad breath, and helps with the acidic levels of food. And what I usually do is that when I'm done with the box, I make sure to cover with saran wrap or a plastic bag just to rid any dust particles or microscopic items that we can't see. You will need a cup of water. And I usually put the baking soda in a nice container. I think this was like 99 cents. It comes with four other things, but we wanna make a paste. I'm putting it in the lid, but you can either put it in the palm of your hand, you can place it on a plate, but we are making a nice paste. We are making sure that we add a good amount of water and baking soda, and you can mix it either with your toothbrush directly in the paste or with your finger, but that's fine. We are just creating a baking soda and water paste consistency. So now we're gonna get up close and personal so we can have a quick tutorial about brushing and flossing without it being too weird and too close. <laughs> so now I'm going to grab the paste that I just made along with my Philips Sonicare toothbrush and we're gonna dip it. Now, I have the most affordable end of the Sonicare. I think that was about $40 and I'll place a link below but we are going to assess our teeth. Do you have any inflammation? Do you have any ble bleeding? Do you have any redness? Do you notice anything along the gum line that is creating a dingy yellow look? Assess all of that information so you can tell your dentist, but I'm going to show you the basic formation of your toothbrush. Now, before, I tried to film this. I had a lot of baking soda and it was going all over the place. It didn't look right, but we are brushing along the gum line and your teeth. And we do have a small amount of the baking soda paste on the toothbrush. Make sure that you get behind that tooth and brush along the gum line as closely as possible. Now with Sonicare, there is a steady vibration, so there's no need to really scrub really hard. So we're getting all below the gum line and along the enamel going all the way to the back and brushing behind those teeth. Don't forget about those teeth way in the back. We're gonna come to the front. We're gonna gently brush the gum line. And as you're doing this, continue to assess. We're going to, of course, get rid of that and we're going to quickly rinse with water. Now we are going to go to the top, going to the back, getting all the way in the back with your toothbrush. Let that toothbrush do all of the work. Let that technology clean for you. Once again, not being too hard on your teeth or the gum line. And we are cleaning all along there, getting deep, getting rid of all of the things we may have eaten, all of the acid from food, all of the acidic 
things and get all the way back there. Don't forget about those tight spots. And we're gonna continue to brush along the gum line. Get behind those front teeth. Now with this toothbrush, it's not the excessive up and down and back and forth with these because you're just holding this Sonicare toothbrush steady and the technology, those vibrations are doing all of the work for you. And continue to brush and take your time, making sure that you get along all in the tissue, all at the bottom as well. And on the top, don't forget the top. Now, if you're a first time user of baking soda, you it probably will taste kind of awkward because you're used to a fluoride based item, but you're going to spit that out and brush. Now, I'm showing you that on the tongue, assess your, your tongue. Is it white? And I noticed that my tongue is just a tad bit dehydrated, which isn't good. This is telling me I need to drink a little bit more water. Some people gag, and I'm showing you what helps is to push your tongue to the back of your mouth. Look at all of that bacteria. You usually don't see this on your tongue while you're talking or while you're eating, but look how that Sonicare is just breaking down all of the germs, all of the bacteria. Yeek. Rinse your mouth with water. Get rid of all of that bacteria. Now, assess your tongue. And as you can see, the tongue looks much better. Not as much cloudy white color. Now, we are getting to one of the most important things is flossing. I use the Listerine flosser. And I'm actually looking for the refills that I use. I placed them on the table somewhere. I can't find it. But here are the refills, and I change these out every day or every other day, and I make sure to rinse and clean. They pop off very easily with a little pressure, and I'm actually just changing that top because I just put my hand on it, and I got another one. So the important thing of flossing is it's just not just sticking in between your teeth and going up and down. You don't want to do that because you'll cause bleeding and irritation to your gums. But with flossing, you want to make sure you go in between the teeth and along the gum line following the curvature of your gums. Going deep in there very gently and following that curvature of your gum. Now look, we just brushed our teeth and there we have that plaque that was very deep within the gum line. That's why it's so important to floss. When you don't floss, that plaque, you end up swallowing that, and then you can get plaque buildup. Look at that, we just brushed our teeth. You end up getting plaque buildup within your arteries, which isn't good. But if you don't floss over a long period of time, you develop plaque deep along your gum line, and this can cause cavity formation and can start the process with gum disease so follow that gum line i'm just giving you a few examples not to just go straight up and down but continuing to go up and following the curvature of your gum look at the plaque that is coming out of my teeth and we just brushed the closer your teeth are together it's even more important we're rinsing and wiping away that plaque get rid of it all eek and i'm showing you a few more examples i'm maybe moving to the other side of my mouth but follow that curvature of the gum line get that plaque out look at that it's still coming out look more plaque this is stuff you don't see with your natural eyes every day because they are underneath that gum line sitting there and continue with this with each tooth, top and bottom, I recommend that you brush and floss twice a day. And I'm just continuing with more examples. Yee. <laughs> Rinse and spit with water. And it's so important to get in those back teeth 
now I'm back super close to the camera. But I want to show you the tongue and how with cleaning and with baking soda, we have rid a lot of that bacteria. And now we are hydrated. The tongue is nice and plump. That's what we want. So in this video, we got up close and personal, didn't we? <laughs> it took a lot of courage for me just to have a video all in my mouth. But I hope that you learned something. And if you didn't, I hope that was a friendly reminder to add flossing and baking soda to your daily routine. Make sure that you floss regularly and I will add more videos to the health and wellness playlist. Until then, see you guys next time. Bye.